sitting on a wooden gate. Sitting on a wooden gate. Sitting on a wooden gate, he didn't care a damn. Said whatever came into his head. Said whatever came into his head. Said whatever came into his head and inconsequently sang. While his world withered away, he had a cigarette to smoke and a pound to spend on drink the next Saturday. His cattle were fat, and his horses all that midsummer grass could make them. The young women ran wild and dreamt of a child, joy dreams though the fathers might forsake them, but no one would take them, no one would take them. No man could ever see that their skirts had loosened buttons. Oh, the men were as blind as could be. And Patrick Maguire, from his purgatory fire, called the gods of the Christian to prove that this twisted skine was the necessary pain and not the rope that was strangling true love. But sitting on a wooden gate, some time in July, when he was thirty-four or five, he gloried in the lie. He made it read the way it should. He made life read the evil good, while he cursed the ascetic brotherhood without knowing why. Sitting on a wooden gate hall, all alone, he sang and laughed like a man quite daft, or a man on a channel raft. He fantasized forth his groan. Sitting on a wooden gate, sitting on a wooden gate. Sitting on a wooden gate, he rode in daydream cars. He locked his body with his knees when the gate swung too much in the breeze. But while he caught high ecstasies, life slipped between the bars. <laughs>